What is going on guys, Sebastian here today. I'm in my kit, well, I think this is the kitchen in the house. Yeah, how we call it a kitchen. There's a table right here and some chairs. But today what we're gonna talk about is I got robbed. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, Sebastian at Sebastian Escueda with two A's, um, you can handle right there and link in the description. But basically I got robbed and I, yeah, it sucks. Uh, this actually ties into the video where I talked about making $200 profit in like 30 minutes. I'll have a link in the description for that. This actually ties into that video because it's actually from the phone that I bought. Uh, in that video, I'm actually going to show you or talk about how I got robbed um, and kind of what happened and uh, yeah, it sucked. It was weird, weird situation how it happened, um, kind of sucked. It was really hilarious though, like I'm grateful that I didn't get hurt or anything, um, but the scenario and the situation was just hilarious. Uh, and I kind of learned stuff from it, uh, obviously how not to get robbed now, like moving forward if I do buy and resell iPhones in town. Um, I now know how not to get robbed, uh, made a video on that, it's in my course, if you guys want a link in the description. Shameless plug, but we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna grab my camera because it's like an awkward angle or like my head's almost cut off on this frame. So uh, yeah, let's get into it on how I got robbed for like $400 uh, in assets. So let's get into it right now. Full disclaimer, so this was um, like a week ago or a few days ago and I did not get harmed It was just someone stole my iPhone and one of the ones that I was going to sell So as you guys know if you guys haven't watched the video on making $200 profit in uh, 30 minutes You have to go watch that video to get some context But basically what happened was I bought an iPhone for $100 Okay, so I bought the phone for a hundred bucks because it had a bad LCD screen if you guys don't know um, iPhones when they crack sometimes the actual screen itself, so you can see mine is cracked. I dropped the dumbbell on this, and then I closed it on a door in my friend's truck. Um, but basically what can happen is the LCD can go bad. Like it'll just go start getting black bubbles, and eventually it will just shut off completely. So basically what happened was I uh, bought that phone, and then I ordered the screen. It was like a $20, $25 actually on Amazon. Um, and I ordered the screen, fixed the phone. Phone worked perfectly. It literally looked like a brand new uh, phone. I put a screen protector on the uh, screen and it was good to go. So I was like awesome, I have a you know good working phone, I can sell it for like 400 bucks. I'm really hungry right now so I'm looking for food. Looks like I got some Panda Express leftovers so we're gonna eat that up. But basically what happened was, heat it up and eat it up, um, but basically what happened was, so I fixed it, posted it on my local um, for sale places which is I do Leco and offer up, and that is it. Um, have to talk about Mercari because oh god something happened um, but <laughs> I'll make another video on that too god I have some I need to start live streaming to update you guys on what goes on um, I'm just so busy with you know working and stuff but okay let's get on track because I ramble a lot but so basically I listed it someone messaged me like an hour or two after I had listed it and they were like hey do you still have your phone Actually, I'm gonna these. Um, you still have your phone. I was like, yes, I do. Uh, you know, I've had a few offers though, just so you know, but I'm always open to the best offer. And the guy was like, okay, I can do 350. I had it for 400. And he's like, I can do 350. That's why is this not focused? There you go. Um, I can do 350. And I was like, I mean, that's a fair price if you can meet today, because I just want to get rid of it, turn this phone to profit, and move on to another investment. And he was like, okay, well, here's the thing. I'm school shopping. Uh, you know, I'm only a kid, blah, blah, blah. Basically, making it put in my head that he is the one that should be like scared and hesitant to meet me which it was really good on his part I mean to rip me off like this it was really smart of him um, but for me I was like oh god alright this is a little kid I'm meeting I need to you know be make him trust me and stuff so he's not like oh well I don't know if we should meet cuz I don't know if you're gonna rob me or something <laughs> but that well he kind of said something like that um, drop some food but basically he was talking to me and he was like yeah I'm shopping for school whatever blah 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 blah. we'll just meet tomorrow and I was like okay sweet because it was getting a little late it was like 6 p.m. I didn't want to meet him at night because well it's at night and I'm afraid of the dark if you guys aren't aware <laughs> I'm kidding um, but you know it's darker there can be other people hiding somewhere or something it's just a higher potential of getting into some sort of trouble and uh, you know I have to manage my risk so I do not like meeting at night normally unless it's in like a Starbucks or somewhere really well lit like maybe the back of an alley um, in like a liquor store like the back of the liquor store <laughs> I'm completely kidding um, <laughs> but I normally like meeting in Starbucks uh, but then he was he messaged me at around 8:30, and I was at my house alone. And he was like, "Hey, actually, I just got back from shopping. Would you like to meet?" 
and I was like, oh, I don't know, it's kind of late. Um, send me where you were thinking on meeting. And he's like, okay, here's where I live. And he sent me his address. And it wasn't an address. It was like an address to a neighborhood of houses. And I was like, oh. And I looked up that area. I don't know if you guys are from familiar with Fresno, California. But this was near like Sunnyside Golf Course. And that's not a, it's not a good place. Like I, I, I've been around there before. Uh, and it was just overall, it's not a good area. It's washing off a dish. Um, but... So I saw it and I was like, ooh, I don't want to meet over there. Like, that's not a good place to meet. And he's like, I don't have a car, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then he asks some weird ass questions. Excuse my language, but he asks some very weird questions. He was like, is that actually you on your profile picture? Um, I'll throw up the picture right here. Um, he was like, is that actually your, you on your profile picture? And I was like, yes, it is. Or he's like, or is that someone online? I don't know if he knew me on, from YouTube or what. But he asked, he was like, oh, is that actually you? Um, or is it someone else? And I was like, it's me. Why would it be someone else? And he's like, okay, cool. And then, like, God, I, I'm pissed at uh, my past self because I like there were so many red flags I was just chasing the money and I told I was on a consulting call yesterday and I told someone because he told me uh, like how he got robbed too and I I told him I was like dude I literally like so many signs occurred to me where I should have just not met him but I was chasing the money and that's where I fail like in all my businesses when I have a downfall it's because I chase the money too much like I just go after um, monetization way too much and it was one of those things where it's like that always impacts me in a negative uh, manner so it's like I need to be better at that but I was chasing profiting and getting that cash or whatever and it ended up you know making me lose a lot of money not a lot of potential money I mean I only had 125 invested plus like 30 minutes of my time um, but so he asked me he was like oh yeah is that actually you in the picture and I was like yes it is um, and then he was like, okay, cool, just making sure, because I'm going to be coming alone, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I was like, okay, like, that's kind of weird that he's saying that. But it was whatever. Um, and then he also asked, he's like, are you coming alone, or like, are you coming with, like, are you going to bring anyone, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I'm going to be coming alone. Like, I I'm pissed at myself again. Like, this is so obvious that he's trying to see if he can get away with this stuff. But I was like, no, I'm gonna be coming alone, whatever. Um, you know, I know you're young and I, I don't wanna try and intimidate you, so no. And he was like, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, you know, I pull up to meet him. <laughs> I pull up to meet him and he's like a 15 year old kid. And I'm like, okay, what's this kid gonna do? You know, I'm safe. I have a taser. I always keep a taser when I, you know, I stay strapped. Um, I always keep a taser when I meet people. And so I met him and I was like, all right, yeah, here you can check out the phone, whatever. And I take the SIM card tray out because he was like, oh, can you, um, do you think I could borrow a SIM card? But I take the tray out, I go into my car, because I have two iPhones, I'll show you guys. Um, so I have a business one where I basically get texts uh, related to business, that's what this pink one is. And then the black one's just personal, that's when I need to you know, go on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, reply to you guys on YouTube, um, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> or like manage, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, and then I'll basically just text business on my pink phone. And so I was gonna say, uh, or I was like, why do you need a SIM? And he's like, oh, I wanna test like the phone out, make sure I can do calls and stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I've, that's a valid reason. And so then, <laughs> this is when I messed up, guys. I'm stupid. Um, so I, he had the phone in his hand, and I was, I, so I turned, reached into my car to grab this phone. It was, in my, it was sitting in my cup holder, reached in to grab that, and as I'm reaching in, there could have been many instances where he's like, socks me in the freaking back. I, I had this camera that I'm recording on. I'll show you guys what it is. It's not a cheap camera. Uh, you guys can see what it is right there. It's a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, so it's not a cheap camera. He, it was sitting on the uh, my seat, my uh, passenger seat, I believe. And so it was there. Like he could socked me, grabbed it, and then ran. Um, obviously I had my taser in my pocket and I like had my hands in my pocket so I could just Got him. Um, I probably, yeah, no, I definitely would have the balls to. Um, I'm pretty savage. But so that happened, and so I reach in to grab my phone, and as I am, I start, I hear like, and I hear it like get distant. And I, look, I turn around and I see the kid booking it. And he's like running. And I was like, oh, like at first I was like, oh shit, should I like, should I go chase after him? And then I was like, dude, dude, like I, I kind of process, like, okay, first off, he probably like right what happened when like when that happened what clicked in my head it's like all right 
he needs it more than I do, go ahead, he can have it. And then it was like, is it worth it to chase him? No, it's not, it's $120, he could have someone around the corner that is gonna freaking jump me for everything. I have a car, I have the keys, he could have taken my car and all that stuff. So is it worth it for that? No, not at all, $120, that's, I've lost that money numerous times. So, and it's not I'm being foolish, it just happens. I've blown, I've blown $120 before, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I've lost, no, actually, I, I'm pretty good at the casino. I normally come out ROI positive, uh, but, so yeah, that happened, and then I just like laughed it off. I literally started laughing. I was like, oh my God. And then I like got in my car, and I was like, okay, Siri, get me home. And I just wanted to get out of that neighborhood and just get, you know, get out of that scene. And then I came home, and I was like, wow, that happened. I was a little shook from it because it was confusing. Like I had never gotten robbed. I was, I thought, you know, I'm Sebastian Escueda. I'm not I'm not one to get robbed, you know? I I am a public figure, whatever. Um, so I shouldn't be the one getting robbed. But that did end up happening. I had to, I did end up getting robbed and it sucks. Um, I now do have uh, precautions that I do take when I am meeting with people, uh, like kind of a checklist. And then I did just, like I said in the beginning of this video, I did create a video on my course, um, how to avoid when like you're meeting people. I, I mean, obviously you wanna meet them in a well-lit area and stuff, um, but there is one strategy to kind of scare them away from getting, to even like have them potentially thinking about robbing you. Like basically what you just say is, I have a gun in my pocket and, no, I'm kidding. Um, but basically, well, it's in the course, but um, there's many other precautions you can take that I'll give you for free. Meet in a public area, because I want you guys to be safe if you guys are doing this and you don't have the funds to buy my course for some reason, like you guys think it's optional, like, pfft. Wow, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but basically, meet in a well-lit area, daytime. Meet in, like, I prefer Starbucks. And always try to bring someone with you so they can, like, keep watch and make sure that nothing crazy is going on. Never let the people have the phone in their hand and, like, walk away. Like, you never want to have that happen. And don't ever turn your back and have them, uh, like, allow them to have an easy exit route because most of the time they will take the advantage, like, be smart about it. Um, and I, I, that's, like, that's a good precaution list. Um, obviously, there's, like, one thing that makes it very value like that makes it vital basically no one will rob you if you do this one step but again that video is in the course i'm not like i'm not trying to hype it up i'm just saying it's one thing that actually does help substantially i just added the video today um but basically that's kind of it i mean i got robbed i didn't think that was going to happen i had people in my course who had actually messaged me saying like oh i got robbed like it was weird, and I was like, oh crap, how can I fix this? Like, how can I make people not have that happen? And I, I think this um, video in my course will actually help that out a, a lot. It's one thing I didn't even think of until uh, yesterday. I was talking to a student, and he told me about this, and I was like, that's actually really smart. Um, it was cool, I talked to him yesterday, and he's already in my course. He paid $200, you know, $199 to get into my course, and then he messaged me and he was like, hey Seb, how much do I need to pay you to get on like a 30 minute call? I was like, oh, I'll charge you X amount. And he's like, no problem, here. Um, so I sent him my PayPal, we got on a call. He's like, dude, I literally bought your course and like uh, within that first week or two, I profited over what I paid for the course. Like it's so valuable. The, the fact that you can charge a $200 and have people making that much every single week, it makes sense to purchase something like that. Like a lot of people don't invest in themselves, but I don't know, I, I don't, I've invested, I've spent a ton of money in courses and it, they have all paid off. Even if it's just to network, like even if it's to get into like someone's network, like I've bought people's courses who are YouTubers I know of and I'll buy their courses just so I can get to know them and then I'll talk to them and stuff like that. Or even like, um, you know, I bought Ty Lo, I've bought a few of Ty's courses just to basically see his sales funnel and how he actually sells and stuff like that like there's always value I think the people who skip ads um, are foolish because it's like you got to watch those things and learn how these people are becoming successful and how they're selling but yeah that's about it enough rambling I have to eat lunch uh, I got some leftover Panda Express hope you guys enjoyed that video and how I got robbed do not get robbed guys like be smart again well-lit areas specifically Starbucks uh, you know daytime bring someone else uh, you like my little chicken stick um, bring someone else with you and make sure that you are being smart with how you're letting them handle the phone don't let them run off with it don't let them step out you know step out 
of the room with it or anything like that. Like, be smart, and you should be well off. Um, but updates on my life real quick. I'm actually going to Texas September 25th through October 3rd, so comment below if you're in Dallas, Texas. I'll be um, downtown Dallas. Uh, I have access to a pretty cool place, um, so that's awesome. I'm staying there. It's like almost 10 days. I think it's eight days that I'll be there. And then this week, the 21st through like the, I don't know, I think for a week I'll be in LA. Uh, it's one of my friend's 19th birthday, so I'm gonna go down there for a bit. I think it's down, right? Yeah. I think it's down or up. I don't know. I'm going to LA for a bit, uh, so that'll be awesome. I think we're getting this pretty sick place um, for his 19th, so that'll be awesome. If you guys are in LA within the next uh, few days, I mean, it's this week, it's literally in a few days, I'll be there. Um, and then Dallas, the 25th through the 3rd of September through October, I will be there. If you guys go to TCU, that's where I will be near. Um, well, actually, I'm like 30 minutes from there, but I'm visiting TCU because I have friends that are going there. But again, hope you guys all enjoyed. Click that sexy looking subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you did enjoy, or if you didn't enjoy, I guess thumbs down. I always get like one or two random dislikes right when I post a video. Um, haven't actually, it hasn't happened very frequently lately. I've been getting a lot of uh, thumbs up rather than thumbs downs which is cool lets me know you guys are enjoying the constant daily content um, if you guys again do want to hop into the course I was supposed to close it down like a few days ago but I still do have a ton of people who want to get in right now at this $200 price I probably will end up closing at the end of this month um, I'm starting to record new modules for eBay um, buying and reselling uh, or ordering products in bulk on eBay and then reselling them as well as drop shipping. I'm very I'm pretty skilled in drop shipping so I'm creating a module for that. It's all going to be included in one big price. If you're already in the course, you will be grand grandfathered in into all the content and stuff if you're not in the course and you wait till you know for 60 days to go by and it's now a thousand dollar course don't cry to me like i'm giving you access to it right now so that's about it i mean i don't want to try and pitch you guys or sell you guys the content and the uh, strategies work i am implementing i'll literally show you guys my ebay store just from today right now i have uh, made three sales i actually can't show you much uh you can probably see those paypal transactions i don't know uh their names are right there but yeah that's about it for this video hope you guys all enjoyed again if you did smash the like button and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video i actually want to start live streaming um like every single day like i was when i was grinding and doing tons of videos like last year so let me know if you guys would be interested in me streaming um this is a long video sorry for that but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out have a good one